um, Blaine County, um, and I will be going around sure um, around Blaine County, Sandy Shores, Plato Bay, Grapeseed, basically checking on people's houses to see if their water and their electricity is good. Um, <laughs> oh, pardon me. It's a bit cold today, you see. A bit cold here on the in the winter, so yeah, but yep. Yeah. Stuck behind the Prius today. He's turning left of the Harvey Bunny. Oh he is. Okay, let me just um pull up um at the side here. Um, it's a bit cloudy today on the ice. Um, almost fallen already, and I'm only five minutes in to my star uh, um, to my job. So um, I'm just gonna get up my map, and I'm gonna see where um, the um, houses are um, that I need to go to. So yeah. So the first place I need to go is Route 68. Um, actually, 856 um, Layout Avenue. Okay, right. That's very near. I don't know if anybody's coming. Nope. Last thing I want is to hear one of those. A little trouble. So our first house is right across the, uh, right down here actually. Um, yeah, so, let's just slow down here. Come over Prius, what is that? Don't know anyone the question. You go down here, up by the cool store. For sale up here, I believe. Yeah, here's the house. Okay. Park up. Turn off the engine. And to we'll examine this house. Okay, that's not what I need. For that is what we need actually. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty, we have some chewed up wires, uh, exposed wires, so all that needs a repair. Ooh, this house isn't looking good. I oh, hear the owner of this house is uh, wood here. Oh my god, this is a mess. Mess. It's got exposed wires, it's got chewed bits up. Oh my god. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely giving himself a hard time. Look at this! Look at that! Massively chewed up wires. Oh my gosh, this, we need to talk to this guy. Um. Urgently. Um. Oh my god. Right. Um. Yeah, this, this place is shocking, but. Like, look. I mean, I'm not even rustic and all. All right, that's not supposed to be like that. All right, all right. Um, it looks like this guy will have to pay a bit of money. Um, he's got the wooding as well, so it's gonna be about three hundred, two hundred dollar, about a hundred dollars for that. The wires is costing over four hundred um dollars around the house. Um, that very tiny bit up there is worth five hundred dollars, so that's about a thousand. It's about a thousand dollars in total that you need to pay for this house. Um, I don't know what his water's like, because I can't get in his house because he owns the keys and I don't. Um, ah, there's a garage as well. Okay, this garage is so far looking good. That's, that's good, right, so. I don't know how, but the garage is actually. The garage is actually more well looked after than the house. Look at that, he's even added down to a cold thing. Yeah, hmm. 
Okay, we home. Alright, let's see where this is. Just need to give this um, to my um, boss. First house. Could just fix this, but could fix it ourselves. But it's informed this guy about it, so we need our hammer and our pipe wrench. No, um, no, I'm, I can't actually fix their house until I speak to the owner of them to see if it's okay if I um, if they they would like them to sort it or would like me to sort it so. That's the wrong button. Actually, I do need up there, actually. Is there a ladder? Um, I think we just go up to the other side here. Okay, let's just jump down. Put our beacons to then they, they know I'm here. There we go. Good. Right, um, hopefully the boss gets back to me. Guys, this ain't looking good. Uh, for the sky. Um, like, see that, that's just all worn. Exposing wires, that's, that's not as bad, but it needs it fixed up. That is shockingly bad. In fact, the wires have chewed up over there. Um, Bears, bad, bad, bad. They're not supposed to have wires ex exposed. Um, they're not supposed to have exposed wires when, um, hey. like it's a house like this because it could cause some severe damage. So, um, we got our, we got our, um, work lights on, I believe. Yeah, we have our work lights on. Uh, I just need to speak to the owner of the house. Um, but, yeah, I don't think, I don't think the owner's here. Um, so, bad house, bad house. This guy needs his, this guy needs his house sorted. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to do, like, what do you do, so, go back, I'll come back to the house, when the owner is available. Okay. Okay, let's go to the other house, sorry. I've wasted a bit of time doing that um, house search. But I don't really want to leave now. Yes, we have to. Um, so this isn't good. Alright, let's go. Let's just go off the road a wee bit. Sweep it up the road.
Oh uh, yeah. Oh no. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just send something about the damage of this house. Um, it's a bit of a sort up, so let's get back from the boss and then I can continue with the next house. So we have to wait until the owner comes back. So what we'll do? Um, we'll sit in the truck. Sit in the truck. Keep warm. Just wait for the owner to appear to this house. To have a word of him. Alright, it looks like the owner's not going to appear. We'll go up the road to Weepa. Okay, next house is... right here. Seems good. Yes, this is good. Some metal tearing, but with there. Um, I'll well, inside our garage at least. Where are these? This is an old rope. I think it's just a rope because there's no light. It's just a rope now. I don't know, it's one of shoes. Yeah, so this looks good. Right. Should I give the guy. Should I talk to boss? He's done there. And that guy's just done good on his house. Storing it, furbishing it. So, if the beacons are back on, there we go.